and welcome to Said Business School. Emerge is a two-day event and we have lots of people coming, speakers and students, young professionals to really get inspired about the social impact space and trends. This is a really special event for us. You know, we come together and it's student focused to think about how it is that we can propel the world forward. It's important to have a social impact, but many don't know how to go about doing that. This is the best event of the year for me. Every time I come here, I'm just so inspired. Emerge is the one social innovation conference I try and get to every year. It's electric. It leaves us with a very excited feel to continue learning more and continue my journey in this space as well. In part, you're going to hear from people who inspire you, they're going to inform you, they're going to educate you. I think Emerge is crucial in the landscape. I think one of the critical reasons for that is that it's young people coming together on the right sort of uh, framework, looking at what they can do to make a better future. At Emerge, everyone is truly having a conversation. This is not a formal, rigid conference set up. The main actors are young people, are committed uh, entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs. At Emerge, we have several different sessions that people can choose from. We have interactive workshops where the content is sourced from the participants themselves. We also have master classes, which are a deep dive into a particular topic. And we also have conversations, which are an interview style uh, discussion with panelists. Most people start with what they do or how they do it. But why? Why are you interested in, in, in redesigning the world, in social change, in using perhaps social entrepreneurship for change? My name is Paul Lin Lee. I'm the founder and the chairman of Ella's Kitchen. I'm here at Emerge today to deliver the keynote speech, which is all about how business has to have a conscience and how in the future business will drive social change by bringing values, morals and a conscience into how it operates. I think one of the exciting things about Emerge is that it brings together a really diverse group of people um, and in recent um, weeks it's been, you know, there's been a lot of discussion of people existing in echo chambers um, where their perspectives are not challenged, um, where they don't encounter people who come from fundamentally different places and I think the, the range of participants here means that there's real debate about important issues. On the Saturday night, we had our debate at the Blavatnik School of Government. So we had three speakers debate on each side and then the audience voted at the end. So I've just come off the stage where we uh, won uh, our side of the debate and the proposition was that this house believes government involvement constrains social innovation. We made some absolutely killer points that government can be really, really important for creating the platform for social innovation, it can help social entrepreneurs scale, but more importantly, change happens across lots of sectors. We had our Saturday night dinner at Crisis Cafe and it was a chance for delegates to get to know each other a bit better and to do a bit of networking over a nice meal. And we also had our Emerge Spotlight Entertainment Night. So Mustard Seed who are with us this morning are an impact investment firm. They uh, connect a global network of investors with social entrepreneurs around the world. This morning has been fantastic. Uh, we've seen some amazing, amazing businesses, all very impassioned to tackle key social and environmental issues. Um, you cannot fault the level of commitment from these entrepreneurs. It was not an easy decision because we've done these events in the past where there's unanimous agreement between the investor panel and the audience. The audience winner was one company, so our power came out as the, the investor winner. So Emerge is the brainchild of Pamela Hardigan, who joined the school eight years ago, and when she joined, helped to found Emerge. She's always had a commitment to students uh, and to making sure that social progress could take place at all levels. This is an incredibly exciting event in an incredibly bittersweet time. So Pamela was the director of the school center until she passed away this August. She was one of the most inspiring people I've ever met. This is a great legacy of Pamela Hardigan because it, it aligns young minds with uh, social change in a very candid way. Her spirit is still very much here and it sort of resonates through everything that Emerge is and I think will uh, become. So I'm looking forward to future years of Emerge as well. What is wonderful is what happens after Emerge, is the connections that people have made, the ideas they've come up with, and then the implementations of those will see us all benefit from a better world. But I hope that they will go away with a palpable sense of potential, of possibility. It's re-energizing each year to come, but it's also the flip side of that is challenging each other to actually go forth, take action, and really you know, do what we've all set out to do or what we're interested in doing, which is making the world a better place.